Kezdjük csókolom. Visszatértem egy rövid stream elejéig egy rész. Kerül ugye részként kerül fel a Youtube-ra. Ugye mondtam, hogy meglátogatjuk a A, bor, a boros helyünket. És azért lesz most csak egy rövid, mert az életmentő pizza most fog megérkezni. Nemrég rendeltem meg. Nézzük is. Közben próbálom nézni, hogy megyek -e rendesen. Elméletileg igen. Igen, a korobiánkó szőlő az a miénk. Rá is nézünk bizony. Ez ugye mi a, a mi szállásunk itt a játékban. És én is most fogom felfedezni, hogy mit kell itt, itt csinálni. Mit lehet fejleszgetni, szépítgetni. Azt hiszem, hogy talán pénzt is hoz a házhoz. Hoppá. Ugrottam, ugrottam. Keressen meg a kis ládámat. Na hát a telefonom miért nem reagál a Twitch-re? Csatornákra átmegyek. Visszamegyek saját. No, hát mindegy, remélem veszi. Most nem látom magamat. Ugyan elorientálódtam. Erre kell jönni. A ládánk eléréséhez. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauci. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corpo Bianco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. I can already see I'm in good hands. This is a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great-great-great-great-grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclerc. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. 
they say, he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the a telefonomat, hogy mutassa a streamemet, amivel tudom elnézni a legalább a képet és a csetet. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck, and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. Give up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Belclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Nem gondoltam volna, hogy Witcher játékban gyilkos leszek. With the Duchess permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you, as master of the domain, to know where the help extends. The gate of luck is hard and dirty. No one can grip the fountain. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially on the stage. Don't look at all bad now, either. No one can grip the fountain. Give me snap. My back aches something horrid. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfaner, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. Bizony, most már kóstolnám, ha megtehetném, de ez egy játékból van. Well, picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close. The well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. Numb the pain, he drank the wine. Yeah, that's a story. Not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Leviodo. We 
Monsieur Bolius, his wife Nina, kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place to keep. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other. <laughs> A gépfőzetekhez bizony. Madame Nina planted diminutive delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful profit. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Cellars, voila! During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossel used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess, which I made while fighting the Buxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Ida be mehetek e? Vagy egy előre nem még? As you can see, the facade is slightly stained, but one cannot deny it. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom, on the right the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs we shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment the house is only minimally furnished, yet I believe we will together devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. I must admit, time has taken its toll. If, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Egyelőre most még nem renováltatunk, ezt később adjuk. Back to my business now. Nem tudom, hogy. Hogy hozzá ez lóvét, hogy például a páncéljainkat és kardjainkat fejlesszük. Ne körbejártak a birtokot, egyelőre ennyit szántam ennek a résznek. Így jobb lenne, ugye? Még mondjuk lejátszani egy melléküldetés, de hát jön sajnos nem sokára az étel, és hát eléggé flamos vagyok. Úgyhogy egyelőre elbúcsúzom, majd még jelentkezem Witcher végigjátszás folytatásával, mert szeretném a héten befejezni ezt a játékot, úgyhogy ha van kedvetek, fi figyeljetek, <coughs> kísérjetek figyelemmel.